Kill Them With Kindness, Our Greatest Weapon for Defense by Amber Ginter Anxiety weighs down the heart, but a kind word cheers it up. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 25 It costs nothing to be kind, yet it's still a mystery why we don't outgrow childish cliques or unkindness. I'm sure you've seen it in the shows you watch or the tunes you hear on the radio. People bashing one another like reality is a game of Angry Birds. But our lives aren't contests, or our bodies made for destruction. We were created for the abundant life, life to the fullest extent. So why are we still busy demolishing those around us, those we love and those we pretend to love? It's in our humanity to compete and compare. Jesus tells us to restore and build up. It's in our culture to place our needs and desires above those around us. Jesus tells us to love one another as we love ourselves. Matthew chapter 22, verse 39. It's in feeling insecure that we cast blame. Jesus says, rejoice in the differences. Can't you see that all parts make up the body? 1 Corinthians chapter 12. You can turn the other cheek in your greatest persecution, pain, and discouragement. Matthew chapter 5, verse 39. Not because what they did or said is or ever will be okay, but because you believe in chilling them with kindness. Matthew chapter 5, verse 43. In doing so, you just might encourage and support those who need it most. I've often heard it said that those who are unkind need kindness the most. Isn't that what Jesus did for us? In that, while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Romans chapter 5, verse 8. Surely, he'd do that for the righteous. But reaching out his hand as I curse his name, spit in his face, hurl insult upon insult, I can only attempt to replicate that kind of love. Romans chapter 5, verses 7 through 9. Friends, if you're weary, beaten down, and discouraged, take heart. Jesus sees you where you are and cares. Just as he cared for Hagar in a world of Sarah's, he's reaching out to you. Elroy is with you. When harsh words hit us, it's easy to get defensive. Do you find it easy or difficult to speak kindness over those who persecute you? You're not alone. The next time you're feeling worn down or discouraged, remind yourself of Romans chapter 5, verse 8. Recite this verse mentally, and then challenge yourself to do good towards this person. Read and study Proverbs chapter 25, verses 21 through 23 for a deeper study.